Welcome back. It's 521, which means it's time to get our daily egg news. So let's check in with Bob Bolsold over at Wax. Good morning, Bob. Morning, Ellie. I sure hope Bob didn't rent a cottage on the lake someplace for this week. It's going to be a little bit nippy. Yeah, no. I, I think he'll he'll be okay. He oh. told me he packed some sweatshirts and everything, oh. so he should be set. But it's definitely cooler out there than what we were seeing last week. Well, that is for sure, and uh, it's... Uh, you know, not not the best corn growing weather at 70 no. degrees, that's for <laughs> sure. Well, let's take a look at some of our farm news this morning, shall we? Cropland cash rent paid to Wisconsin landlords this year, averaging $162 an acre. That's according to the latest USDA cash rent and land values report. Non-irrigated cropland rent in Wisconsin averaged $158 an acre. That's $7 higher than last year. Irrigated cropland rent, though, averaged $257 an acre. That's $11 an acre below what they paid last year. Pasture land rent for uh, cash averaged uh, $41 an acre this year, $3.50 an acre higher than a year ago. Wisconsin's farm real estate value, now that's the value of all land plus buildings on farms, Average $6,120 per acre, and that's unchanged from this year. And the breakdown of the land values, crop land, $6,800 per acre, $180 more than last year. Pasture land averaging $3,200 an acre. That's $90 above last year's price. Well, Iowa and Illinois, speaking of land sales, they're still setting records on July 17th. 466 acres in southeast Iowa, which was divided into seven tracts of land ranging from quality tillable cropland to land enrolled in the Conservation Reserve Program, sold at public auction for $3.96 million. That breaks down $8,498 an acre. On July 25th in north central Illinois, 12 tracts of highly tillable land, totaling 857 acres, Sold for $12.39 million. That's an average of $14,457 an acre. And on August 1st, 121 acres of transitional development land, three tracks in Ankeny, Iowa, sold for a total of over $4.45 million. Two of those tracks selling for $38,000 an acre. The third track selling for $28,000 an acre. And you know they bought that land. That's not going into corner beans. That's going into blacktop and buildings. Well, the U.S. Meat Export Federation, with support of the Beef Checkoff Program and the National Pork Board, recently brought a team of Sam's Club buyers from China to South Korea to learn about new packaging and merchandising techniques for U.S. beef and pork cuts, as well as value-added items in the uh, home meat development or replacement category, Buyers visited uh, some of the leading Korean retail stores and heard from a leading meat importer on moving product into retail chains efficiently. The purpose of the visit was to learn more about the new trends of using U.S. meat in China. Well, Wisconsin Fair is still going strong this month. The Wisconsin State Fair, of course, in West Allis will run through Sunday, August 11th. Clark County Fair in Nielsville starts on Wednesday, runs through Sunday, also, the Pierce County Fair in Ellsworth and the Russ County Fair in Ladysmith both start on Wednesday and run through the weekend. And, of course, it uh, gives you still plenty of chance to get out and watch a lot of good kids doing a lot of good things, showing some good projects. Let's go to the markets, where the markets and the day trade yesterday was higher with uh, the crazy marketing in the outside markets yesterday. But overnight, there was some give back. December corn sitting at 403 this morning, down four cents. At December, wheat price down a nickel. November, soybeans down 16 cents overnight, sitting at 1024. Dairy markets also a lot of down arrows there as well. Barrel cheese down two cents. The blocks down a penny. Butter was unchanged at 310 and a half. Class three futures also went lower yesterday. No $21 milk on the board anymore. August down a dime at 2030. September fell 56 cents to 2045. October down 44. At 2064, prices were lower out through March. So that's where we are, Ellie. And just uh, one week from today, we start Farm Technology Days up in Kadat. So yes, I will be there that good. morning. Oh, yes. good for you. So it will be a fun time. And I know it's not corn growing weather, but is it convertible weather for you today, Bob? Uh, it's kind of chilly. A little too chilly? It might be a little chilly for All right, too. sounds good. We'll take care, Bob. All right, thanks, Ellie.